Hey guys, we're back. Today we're doing a burn and turn rib. I was browsing our website and our YouTube page and I'm like, dude, we don't even have an OG burn and turn rib recipe on our site. Like, how could this be? You know what I mean? Like, we're the creators of the hot and fast burn and turn rib from day one. We don't even have a simple how-to video about it on their site for the last 10 years, okay? So look, I got my shirt on. All right, my burn and turn shirt. We've got the drum dialed up to straight up 300, strong three actually. And I've got my ribs right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these ready. So today what we're doing is a simple backyard eater burn and turn rib recipe. This is a, my favorite way to actually eat a rib, all right? It's not a competition recipe necessarily, although we did do this in the competition back in 2012 and it actually worked out quite well. First place to American Royal for one, but we have evolved. But this recipe is so good it needs to stay. First key, number one, is you wanna get a good marbled rib. We're gonna run high heat and we want that sizzle, we want that bacon, we want the fat popping and dancing. And in order to do that, you've gotta have marbling in your ribs, okay? And we've got that in this slab, looks pretty good. Uh, these are grocery store ribs, very fresh. You can use whatever brand you want. This is not an advertisement. This is a how-to video, all right? But these are typically really good ribs that you can rely on. Okay, let's pull the membrane. Key to pulling the membrane is to use this paper towel. Otherwise, it's way too slippery. You square it up and just should pull right off. All right, so I've got three slabs. I've got three different flavors. Number one, Cajun Bayou. Now this would be one of my main preferences when I'm doing a hot and fast rib. Uh, you notice I picked three rubs that are not high in a sugar content because we're, when we're sizzling these ribs, we don't want that sugar to burn and turn dark and nasty. Um, so you wanna make sure you pick a rub that's not maybe overly sweet. If you wanna sweeten them up at the end, that's fine. But the Cajun Bayou is gonna have a salty kick to it. Um, it's gonna be a perfect rib rub for hot and fast. Or burn and turn, I should say. Which is a whole nother level of hot and fast on its own. All right, we'll go ahead and coat each one. Next up, we've got All In, and this is one of my favorite all-purpose rubs. You can see it's got the bigger salt, garlic, and black pepper chunks in there. It gives a really cool presentation, and it's just well-balanced and good on everything. And then next up, I think this is gonna be a fun one. Let's go ahead and crank it up a notch with the rodeo rub. Once again, larger grind on this one. So we've got the big quarter cracked pepper in this one for a bold look. This is gonna be an eating style rib. Put it on, sizzle, burn and turn, get them tender and enjoy them, all right? Super easy, simple, backyard, everyday eating rib that's not gonna overwhelm you with sweet or anything like that, a richness like we would have in a competition style that we do a lot of. Okay, so let's get them on the pit. We've got the gateway drum running 300 degrees. Um, I would tell you you could use any pit, but you can't. You gotta use a gateway drum for this to work. All right guys, you see we got our drum lit up. Temperature running a little bit of a strong three. When you're cooking burn and turn style, you wanna make sure you're getting at least straight up. Don't be shy with it. If you wanna get a little strong with it, that's fine. Okay, so we got it dialed up around 325 right now. So. I'm gonna get the lid off. Got our lump charcoal in there already. I'm gonna throw just a few small handful of uh, post oak today on here. This is gonna give us a nice mild to mid smoke flavor. These wood chips are easy. You can just send them right through, okay? You could use hickory or pecan, anything you want, or no wood at all for this even, all right? But I like to smell this post oak. Okay, so we got it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and break the rules once again and start meat side down. I do this because I wanna get a little sear line on them and I put them at a 45 degree angle. You can do it however you want. I like the look of the 45. Here the sizz already. And look at that rodeo rub, that looks awesome. Can't wait to try that one. Boom, all right. Face them, make sure they're not touching. Let that smoke roll through the middle there. Now. Set your clock. 
All right, every 15 minutes we're doing a flipsy and a spinsy on these bad boys, and that's gonna be the burn and turn OG style. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, looking, looking fine, looking fine. Not doing much yet, and that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, look at that. Already, already after the first 15, dancing, sizzling, and we got the good, good coming out of them. Look how pretty that looks, wow. Cajun Bayou, all right, all right. Coming right along. So look, we're gonna build throughout this process. We wanna get some of this now, a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm also gonna give it a little spin. As you can see, we've got more sizz on one side than the other. So we just give that great a quick spinzy. 15 minutes, second spinzy. Oh yeah. Look at that one. Getting it. Here we go, spin and flip number three. All right guys, we're at the one hour mark right now. I'd say we're about halfway through. We're building a nice color, starting to shrink, starting to pull back a little bit. I'm loving the looks of that rodeo rub, man. That thing looks so good. Look at this Cajun one, starting to juice a little bit. Getting the old stalactites and stalagmites on there. Oh yeah, it's all part of the process. All right, we're at the hour and 15 minute mark. Let's check on these bad boys. They're starting to pool up. I'm looking for tenderness now, and I know I'm not gonna be there yet, but they are starting to break loose, especially this guy over here that's been going the quickest. Starting to cloud up a little more, as you can see. Getting the bone pulled back. We're building, that's all we're doing. Okay, guys, it's been an hour and 45 minutes into this burn and turn rib cook. They're starting to loosen up. The thinner slab is. Go ahead and give him a, a flip. Look at this Cajun Bayou, though. Beautiful. If you see that everything's sizzling and dancing, but we haven't burnt anything yet. That is so absolutely perfect. I love it. It's gonna taste so good. Look at that one. Big time sizz going on. Looking good. Oh, you hear it? Yeah, buddy. All right, it's been two hours total time. We've gone through our cycle. And as you can see, we don't wanna go any farther. Look at that. Getting a borderline bark on there, which is perfect. Tendering up, starting to crack right where we want it. I'm just gonna put them in here. You could put some liquid in there if you wanted to. I would suggest maybe a little bit of beer. I'm not trying to go with a sweet rib today, so no sun drop today, but if you want to, you certainly can. I'm just gonna set them back on for a second. Look at that one. Totally getting there, cracking, juicing, doing his deal. Wrap him up, let him just tenderize for a sec. This guy here, a little thicker rib. Might take a little bit longer. All right, so we're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We don't wanna be burning right now. Let that run probably 15 minutes. I'm gonna see where it's at, see if those ribs have tenderized. I wanna bite off the bone rib. I don't need to fall off the bone right now for this. These are gonna be eaters. I'll check you back in a second. Let's check this Cajun Bayou rack right here first. Try in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeet. Yeah. Absolutely perf. We're at two hours and 30 minutes right on the money. Um, I mean, I couldn't be happier with the tenderness on these. Let's go cut them up and see what we got. All right, so we brought them in. We haven't rested or anything. Literally, it's been like 30 seconds. All right, I think it's Cajun ribs right here. Look at the bark. It's nice, it's set up, but it's not hard or crusty. Let's see what we got going on. Remember, no injection. Just a pure pork rib. All right. That's the all-in slab right there. This slab is a little bit thicker. And you want to see the tenderness. I mean, they're tender. Look, squirting juice out. Fall apart. Perfect. 
Now, the one I've been looking forward to the most probably, since I've never done it like this, is the rodeo rub. It's got a good bark, good crust, all that big pepper sitting on top of there. Whew, it looks good on the backside too. Cajun, all in, rodeo rub ribs. Two hours and 30 minutes, hot and fast, burn and turn, on the gateway, 300, 300 plus. What else? Let's try it. I'm taking a center cut. Taking a center cut out of the uh, rodeo. How's that for a bite? Clean off the bone. Anybody else want to try one? All right, so that's a wrap on the two and a half hour burn and turn ribs on the Gateway Drum Smoker. As you can see, there ain't nothing left. That's a win-win right there for me. My favorite way to make ribs. This is perfect if you don't have a lot of time, if you're going to a tailgate or you get home on a, on a weeknight or whatever evening, um, go ahead and make some burn and turn ribs. You won't be, you won't be sorry. Look at these things. Such good eating. Don't forget to try that Tennessee Red on there. That's a good dip for them. All right, check you later. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit whatever. Um, tell your friends and family. Love you guys.